Hello there, Sagittarius. How's it going, you guys? Time for your reading. And let's see what is going on with you guys. All right, so I'm going to start pulling some rocks. Ah, Tiwaz. Tiwaz is really a good rune. Tiwaz uh, represents victory. Um, it also represents <clears throat> success, breakthrough. But the most important thing about uh, Tiwaz is, is uh, putting your own needs to the side uh, for the betterment of, of, you know, for the betterment, for the, be for the good, for the greater good of something or someone. Yeah, so that's what that that's what that's talking about. But of course, we got to see what else, don't we? Right? Hope you guys are having a good day. All right, let's get to it. Uh. He was, he was in reverse, and I think I remember pulling he was in reverse uh, for you guys last time. The last the. The last uh, reading I did, uh, Iwas is talking about you know travel and transportation, and it might not be a good time to travel right now. Um, you might experience some delays um, if you do that. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of like feeling that this could also have to do with something else too, but I haven't put my finger on it yet. But I'm gonna pull some more runes out, and we're gonna go from here. Othala, Othala, and this is in reverse, guys. Othala in reverse um, is talking about family members, and when it's in reverse, there's a family member of yours that is not happy right now for whatever reason. Um, you know, I think I should grab some cards so you can, I know this, this camera above, this looking down, you can't maybe see it, see them as well. So I'm going to pull some cards. My poor kitty's back there coughing. <clears throat> Let me see here. There's Tiwaz. And then we need Othala. There's Othala. All right, so you got Tiwas. All right. Tiwas, Iwas, Othala. There you go. That's a little easier to see, right? <laughs> Let's get you a couple more. Wang Yu. Ooh, Wang Yu is a good one. But it's in this position. So what Wang Yu is talking about, guys, it's saying it's saying that, you know, maybe this family member of yours has got you a little bit down. Um, but Wang Yu is reminding you to get out there and, you know, and do what makes you happy. And that way, once you're doing, you know, what you what makes you happy, like, you know, I'll, I wouldn't be surprised when I go to pull some of these Oracle cards that we get something about music. Because, you know, music always seems to, like, heal. Um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, you're kind of like you've been down about, you know, someone in your family. Somebody, somebody in the family is not happy. Um, that's for sure. Um, and maybe now is not a good time to travel either, uh, Sagittarius, because, you know, when Iwas in, is in reverse, see, it's kind of shaped like a saddle when it's like normal, like that. But when it's upside down, it's kind of like saying, you know, it might, because you, you could run into the delays, you could, uh, you know, maybe get a flat tire, or you could run into, you know, major traffic, you know, something like that. 
something that you don't want. <laughs> so if you can, you know, try to avoid travel. You know, going to the store or something like that, that's nothing. But I'm, I'm talking about, you know, traveling somewhere. <clears throat> All right. Wong Yu. All right. So, yeah, do something that makes you happy, um, Sagittarius. Um, you know, and I always say music, you know, I think a lot of you like might like to sing or, you know, do something like that, you know. Here, what am I doing? I got to pull another rune. <laughs> Menez, Menez in reverse, yeah. So you know, Menez in reverse is is maybe saying to spend some time alone, and and uh, you know, and do something that makes you happy. And it also is showing it. You know, you have you know it, it kind of like it seems like maybe you're you know. You're really stretching yourself here to be able to, uh, you know, for this T-wise, you're, you know, you have things to do, but yet, you know, you're extending yourself as best as you can. And I think it's for this family member that's upset. So anyway, I hope that the family member gets, gets happy or something great happens. But, uh, you know, and since I see Menez there in, in reverse, I'm thinking, you know, if you uh, <clears throat> are going to be spending some time alone, which is something I like to do. I know Sagittarius, they like to go out and, and, and mingle and socialize and stuff like that. And me, I'm a Pisces. I just, you know, I can, I'm kind of boring. <laughs> uh so, but anyway, let's pull some uh, oracle cards out here and and see, you know, what else. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oops, ooh, that's weird. I didn't put that, I didn't put that one in. That's kind of weird that that would pop up. I'm gonna read this here later. We're gonna find out what that means. Cause that's kind of odd that that would just be in there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Maybe it's something that you need to see. That's the way I kind of think. What's going on here with Sagittarius? Fools embra embrace transmuting pain. Huh. So I'm going to look at the book at that, but you know, looking, um, looking at, you know, Othala in reverse. And then I see Wong Yu next to it. It's kind of made you unhappy. It's making me wonder what this is talking about. So let's <clears throat> let's look at this and see what this what this says. Okay. What is truly yours will not pass you by. Something better and perfect is for you is waiting elsewhere. If you could come to terms with liberation and freedom, inherit and loss in your broken heart, <clears throat> your broken heart might open up to a greater sense of humanity and compassion. Huh. So I'm thinking that this is talking about humanity and uh, and compassion. And I remember, uh, you know, pulling a card similar to this in the last reading, you guys, remember? And um, it's kind of like repeating itself, except in a different card. Um, but it's just saying to, uh, you know, to make sure you use compassion. And I can see, 
you know, that you are. Because I see Tiwas up here. See? So that's kind of, it's good that you're doing that. And let's see what else. Sagittarius. Oh, well, here, I, I'll just look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, it says <clears throat> closing door completion. So with every door that closes, a new door opens. All right. And that's basically all this card means. I know this one. <laughs> all right. So let's see what else. I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to put these there. I got to get this situated better. I will, guys. Give me give me a break here. <laughs> but I will get this stuff organized so well that I'll be able to just go bam, 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 bam. All right. So let's shuffle these cards up here. One more shuffle, guys. All right. Okay. So what's going on with Sagittarius? There we go. That's the one I wanted to grab, I guess. The Great Mystery. Interesting. So I'm kind of really curious about this one here. The Great Mystery. <clears throat> and I don't think I've ever pulled this card. Isn't that cool looking? Can you guys see that? I don't know. I, I don't I can't really tell from the camera above how well you can see so I want to make sure that you can see these cards you've already kind of seen the runes so um, let's just put these up here for now sorry about that guys uh, there we are okay so I just want you to be able to see the cards huh the great mystery so let's see what it says about the great mystery Huh. It says, if you've just planted some seeds in your garden today, you won't go out tomorrow and yell at them because they aren't fruit yet. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, doesn't that make sense? So, don't dig up your seeds of faith. Remember, you know, remember this mantra is happening repeat this phrase periodically especially if you have doubts and keep going i don't see a mantra in there though oh i guess that's it <laughs> I <got> it. <laughs> so this is it you don't yell at, if you plant some seeds in your garden today you won't go out tomorrow and yell at them because it wasn't any fruit yet so don't dig up your seeds of faith so that's it. So just go by that. Go by that, Sagittarius. That's kind of cool. I've never pulled that card, so yeah. And then this is the the weird one that came out. <clears throat> and I want to see what that says. Uh, Vision Quest. Yeah, it says to spend time alone. And remember when we pulled out Iwas? Here it is. I mean, uh, yeah, Menez. See, we pulled out Menez in reverse. And it's talking about, you know, spending time alone. And that's what this card is saying, guys. So, spend some time alone. You know, that's a good thing. And then at the bottom of the deck, it says offerings. Let's look up offerings. Mm. Yeah, the I, you know, I use... You guys remember, you know, I used to only use one deck, but I've got several decks. I may as well use them all. <laughs> use, a, use a few anyway. 
And then this this card here is saying that uh, to be, you know, to, to have a lot of gratitude. It's a secret for a joy-filled life. Um, and it's saying to cherish that the preciousness of life and everything and every <clears throat> everyone and everything around you and thus you will be cherished. Yeah. And then it also says here a suggestion, make an offering to whatever may, you know, m whatever makes you feel good in your soul. Like for instance, like if I had a bunch of money and I wanted to give an offering, I could like give somebody that I saw that was homeless, you know, on the street that, uh, you know, I could offer them some money or something. Just whatever feels, you know, whatever type of offering you want to give. It doesn't matter, you know, whatever, whatever makes your soul feel good. That's, you know, what I mean. All right, let's pull out one of these cards and see, see what else. <clears throat> Sagittarius. Here, I'm going to put this down here. One more shuffle, guys. All right. Sagittarius. Self-love. Well, that's self-explanatory there, self-love. That sure is. And then at the bottom of the deck, it says illusion. So let's look up these cards and, and see what the book says, because that's what makes it really interesting. Because, I mean, these are really deep. This just says self-love, but I could just say, yeah, self-love, but I want to see, you know, exactly, you know what I mean? Ah, self-love, here we go. <clears throat> Your inner self resolve problems, trauma issues that you have found challenging and difficult to address. While you have grown up quickly or had limited childhood absence of opportunities and experiences, the inner child is an aspect of you that requires love and attention, even as an adult. Emotions are powerful like children Adults manipulate, re rebel, throw temper tantrums, and can be put <clears throat> on a brave face-to-face -face for the sake of others. So, you know, yeah, it's just uh, take time to, to be playful and be curious. And I, we saw that with Wang Yu. Remember I said, you know, do something that's playful. Do something that makes you feel good. So that's basically what that's saying. And uh, let's look at illusion here. Hmm. There it is. Illusions can fool and mislead you into believing a situation is ideal or a person is genuine in their interest or affection when in fact it is the opposite. People can present themselves as helpful but have a secret agenda. Be careful now in your approach to others. The way forward is blurred with smiling assassins. Don't believe everything you hear or see right now. Stay alert. Caution is required for you to see through the smoke and the mirrors. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty interesting. That's a deep one. So yeah, that... That kind of that kind of is what that one means. So anyway, let's pull some uh, let's pull a couple of these uh, moonology cards and see what else. Doesn't look like that bad of a, a read, guys. Just you know, maybe spend some time alone um, and you know and try to do something that makes you happy. Yeah, I like that self love one. Let's get one more. All right. Okay, what's going on with Sagittarius? 
Sagittarius. Nothing will come of this situation. So, yeah, let's get you another one here. Hold your vision. Hold your vision, Sagittarius. Now let's get one more. You and your loved ones are safe. So that's good. All right? Yeah. And I, I'm kind of like checking this card. Out. Oh, that was... <laughs> I put those in backwards. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed your reading, you guys. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon, okay? All right. Bye for now, Sagittarius.